Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to a game that I've done before, but I wanted to give it a little bit more credit. So welcome to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests, Legend is told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in a hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the golden land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the golden power. That seal should have remained for all time. But when these events were obs obscured by the mists of time and became legend, A mysterious wizard known as Aganim came to Hyrule, Ka Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Through evil magic, he began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish one after another. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. So let's go ahead and create a new profile. Just gonna name it something, I guess. Oh, I'll, I'll just think. I think I'll just do Link. I can do that. There we go. And and select. Help me, please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aganim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aganim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Link, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. There he goes. Goodbye, uncle. Well, anyway, we're gonna open this chest over here by pressing the A button after walking up to it with the D-pad because we have to move around with the D-pad. And we get the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way in darkness. Will be quite helpful as we go along. It's not the most helpful item in the game, but it's it's a good start. Uh, but anyway, now, we can also jump off the edges here in every direction. We can also pick up the grass and throw it around. Not that that really has anything for us. I'll give 100 rupees to the man who finds the descendants of the wise men. Sign the king. Also, I believe if we actually go try to go in any other direction, there's actu actually some guards stopping us. What are you doing up this late, kid? You can stay up when you're grown up. Now go home. Also, I just love this part of the game with the rain. Also, this, this song is really good as well. I really like it. But anyway, up to the castle. Hey, you're not allowed in the castle, son. Go home and get some sleep. Well, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to go up this path over this way. Because, I believe... The game should have actually told us, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that we're actually supposed to go up this path and take up, pick up this plant, because down here is a hole that we can fall into. 
B1. Inside the place. Ugh, Link. I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield, and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Link, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... And that, that's it for him. I don't know what he ran into that he had so much trouble with. But he's, he's dead now. Anyway, we can now swing our sword at the opponents to take them out. Luckily, these enemies don't actually see us and will just wander around randomly to hit us. But anyway, let's open up this treasure tre 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 chest and get a blue rupee, which, which is worth five. We can see how many we have at the top left of the screen. We also picked up a bit of magic from the underneath one of the pots, which we can only pick up and throw to break open, which is uh, shows how much magic we have in that green bit of the bar next to the lamp over there. We also have our life on the top right. We have, I believe, quarters of a heart. Possibly, unless it's just half of a heart each, so only six HP, possibly. I'm not entirely sure since I haven't taken any damage yet. But anyway, since we have the lamp equipped and we have a little bit of magic, if we press Y next to this lamp here, we can actually set up on fire. Use, it uses a little bit of magic to use, but it lights up the room. Which is important to know for as we as we go forward. But anyway, we also now that we have the sword can actually slash through the grass out here. One of the few things we can slash. Also, this guard here has a shield and a bigger sword, and he can actually chase after us after he sees us. He's a bit better than the rest of the soldiers just wandering around. Also, I I I believe it's mentioned. Also, the blue guard there is a lot stronger because he's blue. Uh, I believe it's mentioned that these are actually the the guards here. And they've just been, like, mind controlled or something. So we are actually taking out... Possibly... Good, good guards, maybe? I might, might be just wrong about that. It's a SNES game. It, it, it's, it's fine. Uh, but anyway, let's go down these stairs now. With the arrow going down to show us which way it goes. And Obviously, the opposite direction has an arrow going up to show that it's changing floors. And that guy dropped a key for us, which is shown at the top of the screen how many we have. We also have this chest here, which has the map in it. You can use it to see your current position and the rest of the dungeon. Press X. So now we can open that up to see this entire dungeon, showing the floors and the rooms in it. And as you can see, there's a lot. There's a lot here. There's a fair bit, at least. I guess there's a, that one room there in B2 that leads to B3. But still, considering we just started, this is a lot to take in. Whenever there's a lock on a door, it means you have to use the key to open it. And once you use the key, it's gone, so... You need to be careful which keys we use and all that. Let's knock you off with the edge there so we don't have to deal with you. And there's a few more here that we want to probably take out, so let's throw that at that one. That, that one. Pots are actually really strong to throw at an opponent, so that can be good. Um, it does look like we have half hearts because the heart just gets smaller. So we only have 6 HP, which is a little bit, a little bit dangerous, considering. But this game could use a little bit of challenge. So, anyway, let's keep going. Green Rupee is worth one. Now, let me take you out, because when I take you out, that opens up the door to the right. And also down. Sometimes you need to clear all the enemies in a room to be able to progress. Or escape. Anyway, he drops a key for us, which is good because we needed that. But also, in this chest here is a special dungeon item. The boomerang. Give it a try. To select an item, press the start button. So if we press start, it brings up the menu, and we can actually switch using the D-pad which item we have selected. So let's switch over to the boomerang. And now if we press Y, it actually throws the boomerang out. The boomerang can stun enemies if it hits them properly. It can also bring items on the ground to you. And I can't remember what else it can do. There's probably not a ton it can do, but it's still, it's, it's gonna be useful, especially as we go down into the dungeon here. Okay. So let's stun you since we can. Last for a good, it's a decent amount of time of that. 
Uh, but anyway, over here we have this guy that I want to take out. He has a ball and chain, which is he's very strong. So we want to take him out quickly. Please. Ow. Don't kill me. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Thank you. And we get the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It may... It can open many locks that small keys cannot. It doesn't mean that it can open doors that small keys can open. It just means that there are some things that it can open that small keys can't. Anyway, one thing that can open is this door here. Thank you, Link. I had a feeling you were getting close. Link, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. It's probably fine. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Uh, uh, not at all. Okay, just says the same thing. He's just asking if you want to hear it again. Yes, I do understand. Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first... Uh, but, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Get a blue rupee. Obviously more important than getting Zelda out. And now Zelda is actually going to be following us. Zelda can't be hit by anything which is good for us, because otherwise that would be... Chaotic. But anyway, let's just take her to the first floor so we can get out of here. We need to take a secret exit. And yeah. Just all of the things. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned, but the these are actually ladders or stairs taking us to like a semi upper floor. Which is good for us because it means we can get around all over the place. So Let's jump down here. Just gonna ignore you so you can't do anything. Go all the way around. We're making very good progress already. Could also go the other way as well, since this place is fairly symmetrical. There's also a few upper areas that don't really have anything for you. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Hang on. Gonna take you out. The smaller guards were actually doing a, a good job because they were in the way. Okay. I was hoping that one of them would drop a heart, but they did not. So we're in trouble. <laughs> Only a little bit of trouble. We have two hearts still. Okay. And now, there's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the to sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. Okay. Well, let's head up this way then. It's also important to note these... Uh, these decorations here. Like, look, they look like pots, I guess? I don't know. But it's important to note them. Now, we can also, I believe, cut these for some reason. There's no reason to, but you can, which is cool, so. But anyway. That ornamental shelf uh, should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see with that one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Okay. So let's just walk into it until it's out of the way. And now we have a secret passage back here. Ah, uh, but I, you said that I should equip or have the lamp, which I do have. The main reason I need the lamp is because if we walk in here, it's pitch dark, and without the lamp, we can't see anything, so. Ah, uh, but anyway, a little bit of magic. And we can light up the lamp there, which will allows us to actually see more. There's also some rats around here that we can take out, which can be a little bit annoying if they hit us. Only a little bit, but still. Any damage is still damage. I'm gonna let you live this time. Okay, a heart. Very nice. We also need to not run out of magic, because if we run out of magic, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble trying to light up torches so we can see better for longer periods of time. Ow. Grab that. It's fairly simple at the very beginning of the game, but you can still die. Just take out that rope. Which is a bat. No, it's a snake. There's also these keys, which are the bats. Just need to- I need to remember my Zelda names. It's fine, I've been playing it my whole life. I should know- I should know the names of the enemies by now. At least a little bit. Anyway, you got a small key from that chest there, which is good because we need that in two seconds time. So let's head on up here. There we go. And now, 
have some water here. After passing through these sewers, we will be very close to the to sanctuary. Let's be careful. Yes, indeed. There's also a lot of rats here that actually can't step onto the water, which is interesting. Also, I believe that the um the stuff that enemies drop will disappear after time, so we need to be quick grabbing hearts and rupees if we need them. Okay, up here. Don't need to worry about everything. Uh, but we do need to worry about everything in here because one of the enemies in here actually drops a small key, so we need that. Now, oh, please. Oh, I guess I don't need to worry about you. Just need to go up this way. I don't think there's anything else. Just need that small key. Okay, we're doing very well now. Ow. I say that and then I get hit by a rat. And then, didn't I? I don't think I took damage from that, which is interesting. Red rupee, that's worth 20. That's a pretty good random drop. Ah, uh, there's also these cracked walls that we can see here. And if we poke them with our sword by holding it out, by charging it, and then just walk into it, it makes a higher pitched sound than it would if, if we were just tapping a... Well, it makes a more hollow sound than it would if we were just tapping a regular wall. It's good to keep in mind. We can also walk into this block to push that out of the way. Not all of these blocks are pushable, and this block is only pushable once, so... We're gonna run into puzzles where we need to push the blocks the right way. Okay, we've made it... ...out of the sewers. So we are pretty much where we need to be right now. Don't even need to take out the rats, just need to go down this way. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Ah, uh, the switch over there. Okay. To pull the lever... You have to pull your lever to open the door. Press A, the A button, and hold down on the control pad. So we just press A in front of it and then hold down the D, the D pad on the D pad. Uh, also, I don't really, I didn't really explain this enough. But if you hold down your sword and then it charges up and makes that sound like that, if you let go, it does a uh, like a a spin attack. Also, if we push the wrong switch, which is this one. It drops in some snakes, which I'm probably just going to ignore. Princess Zelda, you are safe. Is this your doing, Link? Yes, it was Link who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Link, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power uh, will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and arg augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary master sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Elder here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Do you understand? Yes, I do. So there we go. Zelda is safe. Meet the elder of the village and get the master sword. Link, be careful out there. I know you can save Hyrule. But there's also a treasure chest here which gives us a heart container. Your heart level increased, so now we have an extra heart to live even longer. We're gonna live forever now. But anyway, let's head on out into the rest of the world. Because now we're back in the overworld, where we went into the castle originally from Link's house. Which is down south. Uh, we can now just explore the whole world, basically. There's a few places we can't go because we need special abilities that we're going to unlock throughout the game, as you would any Zelda game. Uh, but we can also see an X marked on our ma map, which is flashing, as well as Link flashing to show where he is. So let's uh, head over to the mark. Quickly and carefully. Uh, I don't remember everything in this game, but I'm going to try and do my best. Oh, get rid of you, get rid of you. Also, I think we can possibly... No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about something else. This way to Kakariko Village. Seems understandable enough. 
Uh, so let's take a little bit of a detour to try and find a few things. And let's head on up this way. Into... I guess the Lost Woods. Except it's more... I can't remember what it's actually called. But anyway, let's just go ahead and go... This way, if we cut this grass here, we can actually fall into a hole here. Which gives us a piece of heart. When we get four pieces of heart, we get a extra heart container. That's how it's going to work. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's keep going. The door closes... No, it doesn't. Maybe it's just... Oh, I guess it's just because there's a ledge there. You have to fold down through the hole so you can land on top of the ledge so you can get the piece of heart. Hey kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Okay. Have to keep that in mind. But anyway, there's only one more thing I need to find in here. Just need to be careful as we walk around in here. Ah, uh, but there's a mushroom here that we can pick up. This mushroom smells like sweet, uh, rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Select it and press Y, the Y button. Well, we don't need to do that just yet. Also, I could have just gone around there, but why not just take the tunnels? Ah, uh, but anyway, ah, uh, that's a dead end. <laughs> also, that enemy is just a piece of grass. That we don't need to worry about too much. Um... Let's go down. Oh, hello. There are also just thieves around the place that if they hit you will knock items out of you. Mainly rupees. But nothing too important, so... Just need to be careful of that. Uh, anyway. If we go into this house over here, there's a few houses like this around the world. Which is good to know if you don't know what to do. Because if we talk to you... Hmm, you look like you might have an interesting destiny. May I tell your fortune? I'll make it cheap. Ask him to tell it. Hocus Pocus, you'll find the elder, Sahasrala. Now I will take 10 rupees, I hope you will be healthy. Yeah. ha ha So basically you pay a bit of rupees and he'll tell you what you're supposed to be doing. So we need to find the village elder, Sahasrala. Which is, it's a mouthful to say, or mouthful to read at the very least. Uh, but once you know how to say it, it's not that bad. Um, wanted. This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Uh, that's me. <laughs> that's not a good thing though. Hello. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, who? Oh, it's you, Link. What can I do for you, young man? The Elder? Oh, no one has seen him uh, since the wizard began collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but long ago, a pro uh, prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. You mean we're not Hylia? I'm concerned by the difference in the universe that was the SNES. It's crazy, anyway. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia th hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say that now it sle is sleeping deep in the forest. Do you understand the legend? Yes, I do. Anyway, look for the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Link. Um, anyway. Guess that's everything here. So we haven't... The Elder's not here, so we're going to have to look for him elsewhere. Um, let me check my map. Okay, the mark is still there, but it's not what we need to do. Um, I'm looking around, just trying to figure out what I can and can't do. What I should do, though, is fall down this hole here. Because down here, we get some bombs. You can get bombs in a few places to start off, but this is probably the easiest way to just get them right off the bat. You can pick them up and throw a bomb you placed. Press the A button. Uh, but we can also place them down to blow up secrets and walls, so that's the main main thing we want with them. We can see how many bombs we have on the top of the screen next to our rupees. So, we can also open up these chests here for some rupees and also pots for rupees. 
everything rupees. Now we have 118 rupees. That was very fast. There's even more in here. And a few hearts. But anyway, we got another piece of heart here. Very good to get right now. And we can just hop out of here to leave. It's interesting that you have to hop into the hole there to actually get into where you need to be to get the important items there. Uh, but anyway, I think now what I want to do before anything else is actually go down all the way south. Because there's this building down here that has no entrance. But if we blow up that wall right there, we can actually get in. And this is very important to do because this place is free items for you. We get some arrows, which we can't do anything with. Uh, but we also get a, a few bomb drops in here, so we can actually get bombs reliably for free if we just go in and out of this place, so... That's, that's the main thing that I want you to know about this place. Because once you unlock bombs, it's very important that you have a reliable way to harvest them, which is, this, this allows that. I believe you can possibly, very rarely get bombs from grass, possibly. I might be wrong about that, but I, I remember being able to get it. I, I remember being get it. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've got it from grass before. I might be wrong, though. Uh, apparently, the maximum bombs we can carry, though, is 10, so we can't get any more right now. Uh, but anyway, let's head on up to the north again. There's a few NPCs around town, and a few of them will actually run away from Link if, if, if you get too close. But there are also some like this one. That if they, if you walk into them, we'll call the guards. Hey, here is Link, the wanted man. Soldiers, anyone, come quickly. And it spawns in some of these guards with spears to come and get you, but they're not that bad, so. Uh, but anyway now, let's talk to this guy. You, sir, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale now for the low, uh, pr low price of 100 rupees. <gasps> what do you say? Interested? Um, it's 100 rupees, but I'll take it. You can't get it for any less. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Now, hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business. And of course, Link does the animation for getting an item which is holding above his head. That's, that's great that he just breaks the fourth wall. This is a magic bottle. You can store an item inside and then use it later. This is going to be very important to have. So important, in fact, I'm actually going to go down here. Scare this guy off. And if we go into the back of this building here. And pick up this pot and open this chest. We get another magic bottle. Two right off the bat. Just very good. Also, there's a cuckoo here. That we can pick up and throw. You don't want to attack them too much because otherwise bad things will happen to you. But they're very floaty and not not that much to them actually. Also that one's just not going to do anything because I think it's because I'm inside that it doesn't doesn't do anything. Um hang on. Can't do that yet. Maybe. Maybe I can. Uh, but what I can do is actually go over here. Oh Link, the rumors say you kidnapped the princess, but I still trust you. Oh, thanks. That's very kind of you. Uh, but anyway, if we go over here, we can actually block this wall. Since it's got a crack in it. And in here is a treasure chest, which isn't that important, but it's some arrows. So. It's just there, so. There's a lot of just places that there are things that you can find. Uh, but anyway, scare you off. Now, what do I want to do? I'm not entirely sure where everything is. Oh, hey, this is where I want to be. Also, the picture up there looks like a picture of Mario, but I think it's actually... Actually, I don't know what it is supposed to be. I can't go outside because I'm sick. <coughs> People say that this cold from the evil air is from the evil air that is coming down off the mountain. <laughs> this is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I get I'm better. But for now, I'll lend it to you. We get... We borrowed the bug catching net. There may be some other things you can catch with it. Too. 
But this is going to be quite helpful to have, so make sure you grab it, as well as the empty bottles. I hope I get well soon. <coughs> Oops, I didn't mean to place a bomb there. I'm sorry. I don't think you're going to get better now. It's probably fine. There's a few other buildings we can go into, but not that we need to. I think we've done everything that we did need to. Hi, Link. Sorry about my yard. It's a little overgrown. Thanks for visiting. I'm glad to have company to talk to. I will tell you an interesting story. There is a lake swimming with Zora, or Zoras, at the source of the river, but it is hard to find. The treasure of Zora uh, can turn people into fish. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Okay. Uh, anyway, I think there's only a few other things I could look at. There is... Oh, I'm wanted. There's more stuff over this way that we could look at. Not that we really need to right now. I will I, I will definitely come back to that, though, when the time is right. Um, there's also the front part of the, the bar that we can go into. Not that, there's a, not that there's a lot here. Whoa, I saw her. A very nice young lady at the waterfall of Wishing in the hills where the river begins. Link, you should meet her. At least once, I'm sure you will like her. I probably should do that. Uh, right. My son really liked to play the flute, but he went uh, to look for the golden power and has not returned. I wonder where he is and what he is doing now. <sighs> okay. Some more world building happening here. Uh, but anyway, if we go over here, into here, there's actually a shop here. May I help you? Select the thing uh, you like. Press the A button. Prices are marked. Or as marked. We can buy bombs here, but when we can get them for free, if we do things correctly, we don't really need that. There's also a heart here that we can buy if we need a heart for some reason. But there's also a red potion. A red potion, you put it into a into uh, one of the bottles. Which also, when you go to the bottles, it actually has the two things here, which you have to switch between on the right side of the screen. Uh, but it's, you put it into a bottle, you can use it whenever you want, and it recovers a, I think, eight hearts, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but it, it's a good amount of hearts at the very least. Anyway, now, if I attack a cuckoo outside of a menu, or outside of a house, for long enough, Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Maybe it's not just... Maybe it's in, only in future games. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. Nope. Okay, still in this game. If you attack it for long enough, a lot of cookers will come flying off screen to help also destroying all of the frames. Just get off screen and come back and you should be good. But it's very dangerous to do that, so don't do that. Anyway. Hi, Link. Elder. Oh, you're talking about my... Uh, about the grandpa. The grandpa. Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I will mark the spot on your map. Here you are. So now if we look at our map, zooming out. Uh, hang on. Zooming out, we can see that there's a mark on the far right of the map. All the way to the east. So that's our next destination. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.